guys, Andrew Bainey here, and on today's video we'll be taking a look at another brand new guitar. This is the Balaguer Archetype 6 string guitar. I have it tuned to drop C for this demo, and I'm using a combination of the bridge pickup position, the neck pickup position for the kind of chordy leads you'll hear, and I'm also using the neck pickup with the single coil, the innermost single coil, for the lead you'll hear at the end of this demo. We'll go over all the specs and my opinions on this instrument a little bit later, but first let's hear how it sounds in a full demo mix. Here we go. So Balaguer Guitars is a brand that I've heard of for quite a while now. I think the first time I ever saw them was probably with Fluff, Ryan Bruce, I'm sure you've seen his YouTube channel before. If you haven't, excellent channel, definitely go check him out. Um, he has a signature model through Balaguer and was with them for quite a while until recently, if I'm correct. Um, I think his model's called the Hyperion model. So I first heard of them through that and I've been kind of keeping an eye on them over the past couple of years. I've spent countless amounts of time uh, going through their online editor where you can basically build your own custom guitar and you get like a little visualizer so you can see what you're making. Very cool stuff. I've played around with that a lot. And then coming up to this year, of course, I went to NAMM in January and I met the guys over at Balaguer for the first time. So I finally got to try them out in person and I was very, very excited. Very cool guitars, uh, was very blown away when I was trying them out and had a great talk with uh, Joe and the other guys who run Balaguer and they gave me their business card and we talked a little bit so on and so forth and it basically led to this moment where they were kind enough to send me over my own guitar to keep. So this is the Balaguer Archetype 6 string guitar. This is a standard scale guitar. Um, it was one of their in-stock builds, so it's not a custom order that I picked all the specs for. Basically, they gave me a few different options for in-stock models that they had, and I chose this one because I thought it looked so unique, cool, and different than anything I had. I don't have any other guitar that's anything close to this body shape, and I definitely don't have a purple guitar, so I figured I would go for it. So as for the specs on this guitar, this is an ash body guitar with no top, just ash through and through with something called the rustic purple finish. Rustic meaning that you can actually feel all the bumps, the grooves, the valleys in the piece of swamp ash. Very cool stuff, keeps it very natural feeling. It feels very cool under your arm and it's just kind of a more unique look. There's a couple other brands that do similar things such as like the, I think it's called the antique ash treatment or something like that is what Kiesel calls it. Anyways one of those type of deals with the finish and of course in Thanos purple as you saw in the intro there. Moving on to the back of the guitar, it has a beautiful one piece roasted maple neck. It has a ebony fingerboard which got some nice streaky stuff going on there. It has offset dot inlays so as you can see the inlays for fret 3 to 12 are on the top and then the other ones are on the bottom. Very cool stuff. I always like the offset dot inlays. The neck shape is a little bit different than what I'm used to. It is a thin D-shaped neck. I don't think I have any other guitar that's a D-shape. If I was to describe it, I guess it would kind of be like an Ibanez neck, but not as thin. So, you know, with a D-shape, basically it means it's not as round. It's not like a U or a C. It's like more flat in the back and then curves up towards the edges, if that makes any sense. Definitely have never felt a neck quite like this before, but I actually like it quite a bit. It's also got a satin finish on the neck, which feels amazing, super smooth, feels great to play. The scale length on this guitar is just 25 and a half inch scale, so pretty standard six string guitar scale. It's also got 24 frets. This also has Balaguer's in-house pickups, which are called the Feral pickups. Of course, one in the bridge and one in the neck. It has one volume knob, one tone knob, and a five way selector switch. So obviously it goes bridge and then inner bridge and then both inner coils of the bridge and the neck inner coil for the neck and then just the neck pickup. So in my demo that I showed you guys earlier, like I said, I used the bridge pickup for the main rhythm tone. I used the neck pickup for the kind of chordy leads, the 
that stuff. And then I use the inner coil of the neck pickup to do the lead at the end. The final few pieces of the specs are of course the hip shot bridge, locking tuners, and a Graftech graphite nut. So if you guys were watching the unboxing video I did for this, uh, you might have seen that there was initially a slight issue with this guitar. Unfortunately, the box was knocked around quite a bit by FedEx leading to a hole in the box. But luckily, Balaguer packs their guitars very well, and this does come in a soft shell case that's not really a soft shell case, if I'm being quite honest. It's more of like a, it's kind of like a hybrid between a soft case and a hard case, if that makes any sense. Um, it's like very, very padded, very rigid, but still kind of like a gig bag shape, if that makes any sense. So luckily it was cased in that and then a bunch of bubble wrap all around, so the guitar was perfectly fine. The only thing that was an issue when I first opened it was that the bridge pickup was actually moved up slightly during shipping, I assume because of whatever damage to the box happened. Um, so all that I had to do was just push the pickup back into the body a tiny bit, and then my problem was solved. So if you're watching my live stream unboxing where that was an issue, that's now fixed, so we're all good, and there's no other issues that have occurred with the guitar. And I've had this for a little over a week now, so I've been playing around with it a lot to make sure that I uh, got a feel for it before doing this video. So my overall impression of this guitar is very, very good. Uh, like I said, I was super impressed when I saw these at NAMM, and I'm so happy that I get to have one of my own, so definitely keep an eye on this channel if you want to see more of this guitar. I'll be using it in future videos, I'm sure, for much more drop C or drop B content. Um, the overall fit and finish is pretty much flawless. Everything looks and feels fantastic. I really, really like the satin finish on this neck. Um, I have plenty of other guitars that have a satin finished neck, but for some reason this one feels like extra buttery smooth, if that makes any sense. I know that's kind of like a buzzword, but it really does feel that way. Very cool. And I really like the unique neck shape. Um, when I first held it in my hand, it, I thought it was a little weird just because it was so different, but the more I play it, the more I actually do really like it. Um, other than that, I mean, honestly, I'm just pretty happy with this guitar overall. I really like it. I love having a guitar that's not green for once, um, even though I know that's kind of blasphemy for me, but having a purple guitar and something that looks so much more unique like this, like their own body shape that I've never seen any other company do, you know, it's not a typical Super Strat or anything like that. So yeah, it's just a very cool guitar, very happy with this thing, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I gotta say. Nothing but good things for this guitar. So that'll pretty much do it for this video. If you want to learn more about Balaguer guitars, definitely go check out the links in the description below or in the pinned comment. Balaguer guitars have also started their own YouTube channel recently, so definitely go subscribe to their YouTube channel. There will be a card up here as well as an end card on this video, so please go check out their channel and tell them I sent you. If you have any questions about Balaguer guitars, let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, hopefully you guys enjoyed the demo song, and again, be on the lookout on this channel for more Balagar Guitars content with this Thanos guitar. Thank you guys so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time.